Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Flipping Furniture. My name is Monica and I am the founder and creator of Girasol Vintage. In this week's video, I'm going to show you how I transformed this beautiful cedar chest that I found on Facebook Marketplace. And by the way, I'm also using a brand new paint by Lily Moon Paint. Stay tuned. Like I said, I picked up the cedar chest from Facebook Marketplace for $20. It's now made out of solid wood, and at first glance, it looks like it's in perfect shape. But after a closer examination, you can see that the corners are missing the veneer. So I'm gonna have to paint it. First, I'm gonna start off by removing the hardware, and I'm gonna put it away because I'm not gonna use it for this flip. I bought some wooden knobs from Home Depot, and I will be adding those to this piece. To clean my piece, I am using crud cutter and I also have a bucket with water to remove any cleaning agent. Um, cleaning is super important, so do not skip this step. Removing any oils or grime will allow your paint to stick to the surface of your piece. Um, also, let's take a look at the cutie in the background. After cleaning my piece, I'm going to go ahead and start scuff sanding and I'm going to be using a Surf Prep Fine um, sanding pad and I'm just going to go over my entire piece. Here I'm just going to go over with a wet rag just to remove any of the sanding dust that was left over. So when I first got this piece, I wasn't quite sure what I was going to be doing with the legs. I wasn't sure if I was going to leave them stained or if I wanted to um, remove the current stain and maybe restain them again. So I ended up sanding them down back to um, bare wood. And um, again, at this point, I wasn't really quite sure what I was going to do with them. And yes, this is a new toy. My husband was very, very nice. And for our first year anniversary, he gifted this sander to me. And I love it. It's literally the best sander out there. To fill in the corners where the veneer is missing, I'm going to be using this two-part filler called Bondo. It's really, really good. Um, the only thing is that it's really stinky, so you do have to work with it outside. If you're working with it inside, just make sure that you are wearing a respirator. The red stuff that you saw me squeezing um, into the rest of the material is the hardener, so just be aware the more hardener you add to your paste, the faster it's gonna dry. So it's really up to you. If you can work fast, go ahead and add more of it, that way it dries faster. Um, for me, I like to use it in a way where I'm going to be able to sand in 30 minutes. So I don't really use a lot of it, but I use enough to where I can sand in 30 minutes. After doing all that prep work, this is how my piece looks. I've sanded down the legs, I've sanded down some of the trim in the front, and I've sanded down all my patchwork. Um, all the white stuff that you see on top of the chest is the areas where it had gouges or it was missing a veneer. So for me, I really wanted to make sure that it was smooth as possible. So I went ahead and fill in those, um, those areas. Thank you. 
After doing all that repair work, I'm going to go ahead and spray some shellac over those areas just to make sure that I have the same texture, the same consistency throughout my piece. After doing that, I'm going to show you guys how I tape the inside of the cedar chest just to protect the cedar from overspray because I am going to be testing this paint with the brush and with the sprayer. Okay, so to refinish this chest, I'm going to be using Lily Moon paint in the color Autumn Harvest. If you guys don't know Yari, she is the founder and creator of Lily Moon Vintage and she is one of the first furniture artists I started following on Instagram. I'm going to leave all the links to her paint and other products I used today down in the description box. Whenever I'm trying a new paint, I like to do a few different things. I like to test it with a brush. I also like to spray it. And if it's safe, I like to feel it with my fingers. Especially with chalk or chalk style paints, knowing the difference between a true chalk mineral paint and a hybrid helps me determine the finish I'm gonna use to make sure that my paint job lasts as long as it's supposed to. To the touch, you can feel the chalky texture that is very consistent with chalk mineral paint. The consistency of this paint is creamy, but not too thick, and it's perfect for anyone painting for the first time. I find that when paint is too thick, unexperienced DIYers end up with a ton of texture and brush strokes. Lily Moon paint is a perfect in the middle type of paint, and I can already tell that it would work great for blending and spraying. I went ahead and sanded down between coats with a super fine sanding pad to minimize texture left behind by my brush. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm also going to be spraying Lily Moon paint. For this, I'm using my pneumatic sprayer. Sorry I don't have a water to paint ratio recipe for you guys. I guess my best advice is to slowly add distilled water to your paint until the paint comes out smoothly. If the paint drips down your piece, you've added too much water and in that case, you need to add more paint to the mix. In my opinion, the best way to get the ratio down is to do a little trial and error because all paints have different consistencies. After two full coats of Lily Moon paint, I was ready for my top coat and for this I added two full coats of my favorite top coat, polyurethane and satin finish. I sand it down between coats with a super fine sanding pad to achieve a buttery smooth finish. When I first started this project, I wasn't sure if I was going to leave the legs and trim natural or if I was going to restain them. So I decided to go ahead and restain them in this beautiful dark walnut stain from the brand Verithane. I used a lint-free rag and I only tapped the rag to the lid to control the amount of stain absorbed by the rag because I did not want to oversaturate the wood. I wanted to have a light stain finish. And we're almost done here. I know it feels like this project was long, but it only took me a day to finish. 
Believe it or not, filming and editing take longer than the actual project. And I am a one woman show, especially because my hubby is on a sea duty rotation and he's constantly being deployed. I'm the artist, the videographer, and the editor. So I depend on every single one of my subscribers to get my videos out by liking, commenting, and sharing. The last thing that I'm doing here is rehydrating the cedar lining with some wax. This piece went to my booth at the Newburgh Vintage Emporium in Newburgh, New York. So it's very important to pay attention to details to make sure that whoever buys this piece is 100% satisfied with my product. Before I show you the final result, let's look at some before pictures. I hope you find this video inspiring. Don't forget to show my channel some love. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you next time for another furniture flip. Bye-bye.